Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode. In today's episode, we are going to be learning about icons and how to use them in selection screens and in classical reporting. Um, it's going to pretty much apply to dialogue programming, module pool programming as well, <clears throat> because you're going to use the same icons. It's just going to be a little bit different way you're going to go about it. And if you'll uh, look at my series that I'm going to have in the near future on module pool slash dialogue programming, then you'll be able to see how we use icons in those programs as well. But today we're just going to focus on selection screens and classical reporting. So how do we add icons? So we're in transaction SE38. We could be in transaction SA38 as well. We're going to look at a program that SAP has provided for us. That program is called Show Icon. It's all one word. We'll go ahead and execute it. And I like to sort these. These are some sort options. I'll say sort according to long names. Just makes it easier for me to look at, you know, figure out what icon I want to use. So in this list that SAP provides, we have each individual icon. And if you've worked with SAP for any time, you've seen these these icons before, you know. So we can use as developers any of these icons in our ABAP code. So that's pretty cool. You know, we can come in here and we can say, you know, choose. It'll show us the internal name, all this stuff. Um, we can go back. We can do Control F for find. So let's say I want an icon for, you know, email. Let's search mail. It'll show me right here. Icon mail. I can click on it. And I can see that's the icon that SAP provides. So again, that report is just show icon all one word um, you can run it in SA 38 or SE 38 whichever one you want and that will show you every icon that we can use so let's go ahead and create just a regular report so we'll go ahead and create let's say we have you know in here is some data getting fetched and populated an internal table whatever you know whatever we're not worried about that we're worried about the actual writing of the icon so in a classic report we're using write statements for everything we're not using alvs or any of that um, we could use a write statement so we can say write an icon display which is an icon available in that report but we're going to have something something kind of wonky go on here if i try and activate it and run it like this so what's going to happen is sap doesn't know this is an icon so it's going to write this at symbol one so in order for the right statement to pick it up that it is an icon, we have to say as icon. So we can go ahead and check it, activate it, and run it. And now we see the little glasses, which indicate that that's the icon display. We can come in here and say icon change, icon create, check it, activate it, and run it. And we get our three different icons, display, change, and create. So that's all fun and good, but most people aren't using classical reports with the right statement anymore. So what people are using in you know, these regular executable programs, not in dialogue programming or module pool programming, they're using selection screens. So we'll just go ahead and create a selection screen really quick. So what this is going to do is just going to create a selection screen that's going to have a block and it's going to have a frame around it and we're going to specify a title for it in just a second in our selection text. And the user is going to have the option to pick a username. And they can pick a range of usernames. So before we activate our um, text elements, let's just go ahead and run this, see what we have so far. Oh, actually, guys, I, I did the text elements for this program before I did this video just to test something out. So we already have our text elements in there. So username and selection criteria. And again, if we go to go to text elements, we can see text 001 is selection criteria. And our selection text SO username is just using the DDIC, the data dictionary value for this text, that field label. So, so this is our selection screen. 
So now, in order to add an icon to our selection screen, let's say we have a push button, right? So selection screen, push button. Let's make it start at position, I don't know, four, go 20 spots. Uh, give it a name, let's say, I don't know, um, button one. And we can give it a user command so we can handle that later in our code. Now, we need to initialize this button one with some text. So typically what we do is in the initialization block, we'd say button one equals, and then our text. So check it, activate it, run it. Uh-oh. Ah, so with a, with a selection screen, push button, we have to begin and end our line. So we'll say selection screen, begin of line. And then after we declare our push button, we'll say selection screen, end of line. And this lets us declare multiple push buttons on one line. You know, we can come in here and say this one at this position, the next one at the next position, and then we can end our line. But for this video, I'm just going to do one selection screen push button on a line. So now we have our push button here. We can say press me. Um, and I'm not going to go into too much details on selection screens in this one video. It's more about the icons. So we could say, let's just do a message. Oh, had a typo there. Let's just do a message dialog for the user command every time a user command fires. So now we'll have our um, user command get displayed. So if I do press me, I can see it says BTN1, which we defined in our code. If I hit execute up here, I get ONLI, which is the execute function code. You know, let's make this push button. Let's just skip a line real quick. Make it look a little more natural. Right, and so now we have you know, a push button here. But let's say we wanted our icon. Let's get back to what this, this video was actually about. We want to put an icon on this thing, Dustin. I don't want I don't want you to show us how to design a selection screen. You already have videos on that probably somewhere else. So, so what we'll do is in our initialization where we're defining this text, we'll actually come over here, find an icon that we want. Let's say we like this icon alert, right? And its name is icon alert. Go back to our ABAP editor. And now, instead of just pressing this text in here, we'll say icon alert. And let's just do it like that to start with. Check it and run it. So we get a button and it has the alert icon on it. Pretty neat. But most of the times we're not just making a button with an icon. I mean, we could make this less wide and just have a button with an icon, but most times we're including text. So what we can do, we can use ampersand, ampersand, and that is the shorthand to concatenate a string and we can say I don't know whatever text we want alongside our icon check it activate it and run it and now we get a push button with our icon on it so that's pretty neat we can have push buttons in our selection screens with icons and again guys that report is just called show icon it is wonderful you'll find yourself using this if you're doing anything with icons and icons make life a little bit easier on the end user of the SAP program. So, you know, use them when it makes sense. You know, um, it definitely makes the visual appeal of your program just a little bit better. I mean, this looks better than having a blank, you know, without the text or without, excuse me, without the icon. It doesn't convey the same feel as just a big old send alert button. So, if you're using classical reporting, you know, with write statements or push buttons, then that is how you're going to implement icons in those push buttons and in that classical reporting in your write statements. So thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please feel to reach out. You know, you can leave something in the comments section. I answer as quick as I can. 
My personal email address is also listed in my video descriptions or in the channel description in case I forget to put it in the video description. But if you have any questions, please shoot me an email or a comment. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe if you like this channel, and we'll see you in the next video.